everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today I'm really excited to bring you from our friends at Crafters Companion. These are Gemini centerpiece dies. They're for the holiday season, Christmas, and winter, and I love them, and I can't wait to show you what I did with them. So here's one just cut out of a white card, okay? It has this beautiful scene. This first one is the reindeer family and as you can see, it's got some embossing there on it. And don't worry, we're gonna like add more steps to this so it's easier to see. So this is what the die looks like. Kind of buried it here among all my things. Ooh. Okay, so here's the die and you place it, of course, face down on your card and run it through your die cutting machine. Now this particular die is 6.2 inches by 1.7 inches. And if you have a big shot um, die cutting machine like I do, that's a little bit problematic because the platform is only six inches wide. So we have to account for that 0.2 inches to make these go through our machine. So I have a little bit of a cheat for you here to help you out if you have a six inch wide platform. So the first thing what you wanna do is you wanna start off with a six inch card. This card is normally six and a half by five inches. So I just trimmed a little bit off the top. Then I went ahead and I placed, now you can place this die up here closer to the top, closer to the bottom, center. I did mine about at the two thirds mark. And then you're gonna wanna use a little bit of our of a low tack tape. This is a hunky dory low tack tape. It's great for there we go, uh, cutting dies. You could also use washi tape, any kind of low tack tape that's not going to stick to your paper. So you wanna make that sure that's secure there so it doesn't wobble around. All right, so now you're gonna do something a little odd. You're gonna take the back of the card and you're gonna fold it around to the front, all right? And then you're gonna take a piece of just scrap cardstock. I've used this multiple times. You're gonna sandwich it in the center, all right? So then you're going to put this through your machine like this, okay? And then when you open it, okay, when you open it, <laughs> this is what it's gonna look like. You're going to have a little bit of an impression on the back. Inserting the cardstock in the center helps cut that way down. If you don't put something in the center, you're gonna have a really big impression. But there's a, there is an impression here, so how we get around that is, because when you, your recipient opens their card, you don't want to see that impression there. You simply glue either, you know, so this is some green, or you could just line it with some white cardstock if you like. I happen to like it because if you do the green, it really pops up like this. Now you can have your card so that it's got this open piece right here, and then there's lots of place to, you know, to write your, Christmas or winter wishes down here. Um, or you could actually glue it to the card inside back like this. So you have lots of space to write, okay? Once again, covering up your marks here. All right, so that's how that works. So let's get to the actual design on this card and how this is gonna work. So what I did was I actually die cut it once from the white card and then again from a couple of different colors. And I like these sort of muted colors of green and tan. And I got this from Magnolia Blossoms cardstock. And as I said, I went ahead and added those. And then I just took my little scissors and we're gonna do a little paper piecing here. We're going to cut out the trees. Zoom in on this, Steve. And we're just cutting along the bottom edge there. Following sort of that impression that embossed impression there, just below the die cut part. Like that. And then you wanna cut it even with that top edge, like that. Okay, and then at this point, I added a little bit of green. You can use any really color, dark, dark green. This is peacock green. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I originally used um, evergreen, but peacock works as well. And I like to use just a little dauber. These are sponge daubers when using small little pieces. Or you could just use the surface of the ink pad to just brush some on. I like to sort of go heavier on one side and just lighter on the other. So I'm just bending that piece back. 
like that. All right, and then you'll notice it really picks up that impression there. Got some ink on my fingers. All right, and then you're just going to take some glue. We like to use Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Liquid Glue. And you're going to just glue those down and align that right there. Let's open it up. You're going to glue the green image right on top of the white one, like that. All right, and then we're going to do the same for the deer. Let's just do the single deer here. The reindeer, rather. I'm not sure really what makes them reindeer. It could be regular deer. All right, and then we're going to cut those out. And then for those, I like to add just a little bit of brown. Here, I'm going to use one of my daughters to do just a little bit. I think kind of on the stomach area and the antler area. Give it a little variance in color there. All right, so that's that one. And we're going to glue those in place. Um, then also, got a Merry Christmas die for our greeting. This one I love, and I also love this is teal glitter cardstock from Hot Off the Press. And it makes a really spectacular way to die cut your greetings. But I think I'm going to put that on here as well. So this is the next step finished. All right. That's where we are so far. And then I want to add a little bit of fluffy stuff. This is Cosmic Shimmer Fluffy Stuff. It's snow that reacts with heat and it puffs up and it's just brilliant. So we're going to add this. As you can see here, some of my ink got smudged on my card. No worries. So we're just going to cover that up. And the thicker you get this, the longer it takes to heat. But that's OK. And then just putting a little bit on the trees. Going across here. And then, you know, feel free to go back and kind of thin it out a little bit. Thinner it is, really, the better. All right, so that's there. All right. Now I've got my heat gun over here. All right, so I'm going to turn this on, and then we're going to apply some of the high heat to it. We don't want to get terribly close because we're we are heating paper. And as you can see that it's going to start to bubble. There it goes, and it just looks wonderful. Make sure to keep your fingers away from this because it is a very hot gun here. I just love how that just starts to pucker and it takes off. It's a really satisfying product to use. All right, we got to get those up on the trees. I think we got everything. Oh, under the deer. All right, there we go. Right, so I love how that turned out. Now, um, we could use, we could leave this white with a white backing on it, but it really turns out much better if you put a little color behind it. And here's some blue also from that Magnolia Blossoms cardstock. I used this shade right there. And I'm going to put that in there. And you can see I've got some sort of ink on there, a little spattering. And that is this product here, White Ink Spray. You just mist this on 
let it dry for a few minutes, and then you've got this wonderful snow effect. And I'm just gonna glue this to the inside back. Now, as I said before, you can line the back of the card with this way, so those impressions on the back of your card um, are not showing. But you know, if you have a wider nine inch wide platform, you wouldn't have this here, so you wouldn't need to line this. Um, you can also glue everything to this piece, okay? And then you'd have this piece right here. So um, by doing that, you would just cover everything here with a little bit of glue and do that. But I'm gonna cover my card back. I also like this, this sort of the dimension. Um, I don't know, it's like a little peekaboo quality, that window quality that I love. There we go. And we're just gonna glue that this. There we go. And there's the finished card. So you can see um, there are a lot of steps to this one, but they're very easy steps to do and just really fun to play with that. All right, so let's move on to the next card for this one is the Opulent Bobbles. All right, so this one looks like right here. And for this card, I went ahead and did this out of the the white cardstock as well, a card. And I wanted to leave it without covering this, without covering the entire card. I'm gonna show you how to do that momentarily. But it's got this great embossing. And one of the things I did notice, um, depending on your machine, I have an older machine and um, my plates might have been pretty worn and I noticed my embossing took a little bit of extra work to get that to show up. So when it's going through the embossing machine, the embossing machine, the die cutting machine the first time, if you're not seeing that embossing that you want to, um, try adding a little shim of paper over that. So once you place your die, then just stick a little like strip on top of that die of scrap cardstock and then run it through and it'll give that extra pressure just right here. Okay, and so the embossing turned out well. And so for this, I colored those using a couple of different ink pads here. This one is Arctic Mist and Olive Green. And I just used a couple of little daubers and applied a little bit of this to each of these ornaments. And you can see when I do that, it really helps show the embossing much better. really see that much better. So I just did, you know, alternated the colors there. There we go. And then here's a little trick. I went through and first of all, I used the snowflake paper is from Cutesy Christmas and it's got this wonderful aqua snowflake. So I put that through the machine and this is what I came out with. And I'm going to cut away these pieces so I can just use these curved pieces that I'm then going to glue on my card front. I'm going to cut those away. This. Some of the pieces you have to kind of use your imagination about where the curve is. So you just have to cut through the ornament. And I've cut this slightly larger than my card. And that's because I wanted to have extra paper to play with, so I didn't have to be so careful about aligning things. And I'm just gonna put some glue right here on my card. And then I'm gonna place this right here, and in, I'm not going to line it up exactly. I'm gonna just move it back a little bit so that I have a little bit of a white border right here between the card. There we go. There we go, I like that little white border. And golly, I forgot to bring my big scissors once again. So we're just gonna trim this even with the card. I like to turn things over when I'm trimming even with the card. That way I get an exact fit. And yes, I should be using my larger scissors. I think the last time I did this, we did these center piece dies, I did the same. 
All right, so there you go. And then you would just do the same on the other side. And then I added just little knotted pieces of ribbon, okay? And glued those to the top of the ornaments. And then for my little greeting here, I've got silver Merry Christmas Dazzle stickers. And they come in pearl, mirror, and glitter finishes. And then on the back of my card, I glued some green cardstock. And this is actually from Sunflower Cardstock. There is a great lime green in there. And at this point, I can just decide once again whether I want to glue it like this to my card or whether I want to glue this to the card back. I like gluing them to the card back because after all, this is the point of the die to show this centerpiece right here and that it's connecting this and it's just it makes a really beautiful window. That's just my preference though. Okay, here we have another one and this one uses, this is the Sprigs of Holly die, like this. And for this one, I covered my card with, this is, gosh, this is suede paper, and this is olive suede. And if you're not familiar with suede paper, it's actually fabric that has a paper backing, and it's just wonderful. It's velvety suede finish. And I covered my card first, and then I went and put it through the machine, just like we did before, okay? You can even see my backing here has a little bit of an imprint there and put it through my machine and then I took a little bit of hammered gold paper, another specialty paper, and I just cut a strip of that and I glued that to the inside right there. So that lined that piece. And then I took a little bit of dark green ink, my little dauber, and I just went along the little pieces of holly and it made them show up much better with the embossed areas. If I just darkened that a little bit, um, added a couple of glitter, here we go. These are the glitter dazzle, uh, thin line dazzles in glitter. And I used the red one, which is in here, there we go. Just along the edges like that. And then this little guy right here, this is the from Joy, Hope, Love, Peace cutting dies. And I used gold glitter cardstock for that. And then of course for this, my little berries and my holly bow, it would have been really tricky to die cut those um, and we'll actually to run this through the machine and then cut out those holly berries. So I decided instead of, you know, trying to cut those out out of gold glitter, or rather red glitter paper, I just went ahead and used some stickles and um, just outlined my bow right there went down the center of the holly, just followed the embossed lines, and then just added some for the berries right there and let that dry for a couple hours and that was really easy to do. All right, so here we have another card. This is my last one. And this one, I think I've buried all my dies. Here we go. This one is Follow the Stars. What the die looks like, and it's got this brilliant nativity scene. And I cut this out of new from Hot Off the Press. These are our glitter cardstock cards, and they come with the already scored for the fold. They come in uh, several different colors. They come in gold, blue, silver, and red. And I thought the blue would just be, be beautiful on this because it is that silhouette at night. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and used the same technique um, of running it through the machine. This is really heavy stuff, so um, I was a little worried how it would die cut with these intricate pieces. No problem at all. Just added just a little shimming like you would normally do when you were maybe adding a little extra paper there to press down more, but totally fine. Um, then I backed the inside with a little bit of a really pretty swirly paper right here. This, this is the one I used. It has a little bit of pattern on that and blue and white and a little script. And this is from Blue Persuasion Paper Pack. That one right there. 
And then I just added a little strip, use my paper cutter, of the white glitter cardstock. And then on top of that, I added a silver, right there, a little thin line glitter at the top and bottom there. And then the Noel is silver and it comes from the um, Christmas greetings collection. And I use the script greetings right there. It also has little tiny words and phrases on it too. That's a great pack to have. Put that right there and then top that off with a velvet shimmer ribbon bow and glued that to the center. So there we have it. There's a whole bunch of techniques. As you can see, they're very versatile. You can use all different kinds of paper and cardstocks and glitter and have all kinds of fun with these. So um, you guys, I know that these are gonna do really well and sell out. So make sure you jump on those for Christmas if you're even thinking about it. And if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page, we have a great money saver for this. You just wanna check it out on the right-hand side of the screen. And um, it, we also have a drop-down products used menu below the video where you can see every product, every ink pad, everything, every tool that we used. Um, so you can check those out. And if you're watching us on YouTube, we haven't forgotten about you, uh, just check the link in the description box and it will take you to our Paper Wishes webisode page where you'll see everything I just mentioned. And if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps people find our channel and subscribe because we do three to five of these videos a week and you don't wanna miss anything. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.